So we are given a code in C language and our task is to write a program in Python which performs the same logic. So here this is the code given to us which is in C language. So first let us understand what we are doing here. So first two new integer variables named n and x are being created and then using a scanf statement we are accepting the values of n and x and I am creating a loop that iterates for x number of times. So in every iteration of this loop here we are adding n with the value returned by the printf statement. So first the printf statement will get executed. So the initial value of n will be printed. And then this printf statement will return a particular value. So that value is being added with the integer n. And in next iteration the new value of n will be printed. So here we have to know what the printf statement will be returning. So the printf statement will return the number of characters it has printed in the output. Suppose if you are going to print the integer 5 then it has only one character 5. So this printf statement will return 1. Suppose if you are going to print 100 then there will be 3 digits 1, 0 and 0. So the value returned by the printf statement will be 3. So this value returned by the printf statement is added with n in every iteration and the value of n is being updated and printed in every iteration. So this is how the particular C program works. So now let us see how to implement the same logic in Python. So first I am accepting the integers n and x as input. So this is how we will be accepting two space separated integers as an input in Python. So we have to use the map function and within that we have to give the data type. So we are accepting two integers so I am giving int and it should be separated by a space. So input dot split. So now we have accepted the values of n and x. So now we have to create a loop that iterates for x number of times. So here this loop starts from 1 and iterates till x plus 1. So in every iteration first we have to print the integer n. So I am printing the integer n and we should not move to the next line. So we have to print the integers separated by a space. So after printing n I am setting n is equal to a empty space. So that we will be printing our output in the same line. And now we have to update the value of n. So the n must be added with the number of digits being printed in the output. So the integer n is being printed. So we have to calculate the number of digits in the integer n. So to find the number of digits we have a method named len. But it works only for string. So first we have to convert the integer n into a string and we can apply the len function. So this is how we will convert the integer n into a string. Now we want only the number of digits. So we have to calculate the length. So we have to wrap it within the length function. So length of str of n. So in every iteration of this loop we have to add the integer n with the value returned by this statement. So this is how we will be updating the integer n and we will be printing our output. So this python program implements the same given C program logic. So this is how we can solve today's daily challenge. Thank you for watching.